In this tutorial, we're going to take a closer look at what Panel Tour can offer in terms of building parameters. To start, we'll discover a project with various content in order to observe the way Panel Tour organizes it when building the tour. We have here two panoramas, a picture, a video, and an audio file, as well as hotspots linking panoramas together. Now look at the Tool Building section located in the Project's Properties. Those settings are independent from your selection in the main window. Beforehand, let's see the way Panotour organizes the rendered files. We are going to build the tour by clicking on the blue gear wheel, we shall call it Test. Notice that Panotour has created a flash file, test.swf, and a folder, test data. In the graphic folder, you will find all the objects, appearances, hotspots, links used in your project. The data related to the Panotour Pro Map function is located in the Maps file. The Sounds folder regroups the sounds used and the test 0, 1, and 2 folders regroup the panorama's data. You can also find the pictures preview. The test.swf file is the visit itself. It will call upon the data in test data and therefore allow, when publishing on the web, a download of the content that is currently needed. Let's come back to the export properties. Panel Tour Pro allows you to make your visit compatible with mobile devices. Simply check the compatibility box. Be careful though, the panoramas included in the visit must be full sphere panoramas for this option to be available. The HTML template allows you to create an HTML file already written down, including your visit. You can choose an existing template or your own. You can access them and therefore add yours by going to the Edit menu in the Tools bar, then click on Open Templates Directory. The Pictures Export menu is, by default, in automatic mode. Therefore, it will decide whether or not to export a picture for you to gain time in the export process. You can also make Panotour export them anyways, or never do so. If the embed or data box is checked, the file test data won't be created. All the data will be included in test.swf. There will therefore be more wait, and the user wishing to visit will have to wait for a complete download of the visit to do anything else. This can be useful for short visits or for a local viewing, but should otherwise be avoided. The Embed XML Files box is checked by default. It can be interesting though to not embed them for advanced users who would like to examine them to personalize their visit. Finally, the section Restricted Domains allows you to enlist the domains where users will be able to access your visit. This allows your visit to be obsolete out of its context and to protect your work. Don't forget that for the visit to run properly, you have to include the exported files in their entirety and respect the folder structure. 